For some reason, a lot of girls feel like they look at the competition, they look at the prices, and they're like, okay, I'm just gonna be cheaper. That's how I'm gonna compete. Really? That's all you can offer? Girl. So, a boss babe to pass your level. You too sweet, that sugar level. The party don't start to me and my girl show for the center. Me call my daughter. Turn it, turn it, turn it up. You must bring the heat, the one I know the beat now. Hi girlfriends, I am back with another video. I am Angelica, I am a six figure lash business owner. I teach marketing, business, branding tips so you can get some money girlfriend. So subscribe to my channel and also give me a like girl. Cause if I'm giving you tips and I'm giving you money tips, why aren't you giving me a like? <laughs> So for this video, I really want to discuss why aren't you actually making sales in your business? You're promoting your products, you're promoting, you're promoting, you're promoting, and you're posting like crazy, but nobody's buying your products. So first, let's discuss this. I want you to get into the mindset of that you're in competition, girl. You are in competition. I know there's a lot of quotes out there with beauty businesses, and it sounds so like, Kumbaya, nice, sweet, girly. But in reality, think about how many other girls in your city right now offer lash extensions, offer hair extensions, offer nails. Some girls even do hair and nails. Nails and beauty, lashes and nails. Think about how many other girls who offer the same thing like you. When you think about your competition, analyze the competition. What are they offering? What are they doing well? How are they marketing their business? And look at their actual prices. For some reason, a lot of girls feel like they look at the competition, they look at the prices, and they're like, okay, I'm just gonna be cheaper. That's how I'm gonna compete. Really? That's all you can offer? Girl, you are better than this. You can bring way more to the table than just cheap prices, girl. You have good lashes, okay? You have a great personality. You have a lot more to bring to the table than just cheap prices to get people coming to you. First of all, when people are looking at their competition, they feel like, okay, these other people, they're offering high prices. So in order for me to compete, I have to offer lower prices and that's what's gonna make people flock to me. Hold on, here's your perspective on this. If these other women are charging certain prices, don't you think that you can charge that same price? If they are charging those certain prices and they're still getting business, don't you think that you can do the same and still get business? If women are already paying these high prices for these services, nine out of 10 wasn't a problem for them because if it was truly a problem for them, they probably just wouldn't book them in the first place. The prices, girl, is not the issue, okay? When you're looking at your competition, what are they not offering? When I first started doing lashes, a lot of the girls would complain that the girls that are already out, they do lashes too natural. I was the one that came in and offered natural lashes with a little bit of twist, with a little bit of spice, with a little bit of something extra. So when I came in, I made a lot of money fast because I offered those services. I filled in that gap in that market. But truly, when I say that you have to compete, you really have to find holes in the market to fill in gaps where you can. You have to compete, right? You have to be the absolute best. You're marketing better than your competition. Do you have a website? A lot of beauty professionals don't really have websites, so when you have a website, you look so much more professional than other people. Is your graphics up to par? Do the most all the time. If the bar is set here for your industry, go above it. Do the extra. Do the extra amount because you're competing. When you're coming into the industry, there are thousands more women in the industry that came before you. You have to top them. You have to compete with them. You have to do the most, okay? Let's talk about your marketing. Your marketing is so important, ladies. If you have a product, if you have a service, and you don't know how to sell it, then you're going to fail at your business, and I don't want you to fail. So, this is what we do. If you are not selling, if you are not booking, reanalyze yourself, what you have to offer in the industry. Yes, we do lashes, yes, we do hair, yes, we do nails, but we don't all do it the same way. Once you find exactly what makes you special, what you can bring to the table, besides just cheap prices, ladies, get out of the mindset of just providing cheap prices. You are more worthy than this. You can offer way more to the industry besides just cheap prices. Find out what makes you special. Talk the edge to your business. What can you provide? Is it the experience? Can you provide a luxury experience? 
can you provide a nice product? Just like in my business, my lashes were natural, but it wasn't too natural. So I targeted the women who like that type of look. What can you bring? What twist can you bring? What spice can you bring? <laughs> you are way more special than you're giving yourself credit for. Ask yourself, really analyze your business. How is your business different from other people in the industry? How is your business more special? When it comes to marketing your business, it is just about competition, lady. Let's be honest, the best marketer wins. When I'm thinking about Apple, think about like back in the days when, not to say Android is not a big thing because it is a big thing, but there's Android versus iPhones. And then Apple came out with the marketing, like, okay, this is the cool people's phone. Like, if you don't have this phone, then you're not cool. Like that was their marketing. And it was a strong marketing tactic. It's not to say that Android phones work better or Apple's phones work better, but it's the marketing that's behind it. It's not about really who has the best product. It's not about who has the best lashes. It's not about who can do something the best. It's really about the best marketer. Who can market your product the best? How can you sell yourself? Can you sell yourself way better than someone else can sell themselves? And this is truly how you make a lot of money into your business is by marketing yourself. It's not about just promoting yourself but marketing yourself correctly. So after you watch this video, I really want you to analyze your business to see your strengths, your weaknesses, what you can bring to the table, what you can't bring to the table, and also just how you can sell yourself differently. It's all about selling yourself. All right, ladies, I am done with this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.